placed eight, heading into the fixture on March the 26th. Katsina United's decent run of form since March the 20 has seen them pick up eight points from a possible 18. Since March the 20, Plat United's near perfect run has seen them endure only a 3 1 defeat to Sunshine Stars of Akure on March the 24, and route to racking up an impressive 13 points from an available 18 to play second before the fixture at the Mohamed Tiko Stadium in Katsina. After 13 minutes, Alex Enerjo regains control and releases Mustafa Abdullahi, whose successful combination with Nero Silas finds the pacey forward tripped by Katsina United's Shidera Eze to attract a penalty, an opportunity Albert Hilari pounced upon to successfully beat Pius Ibrahim and hand the Peace Boys the opening initiative while equally going joint top of the current MPFL top scorer's chart alongside Enumba's Chijoke Mbauma on 12 goals apiece. 26 minutes later, the hosts will respond when Ibe Okoro receives the ball, drives in and releases Idoko Andrew Alecheno, who pulls Claire to net the equalizer and turn the game on its head. 70 minutes on, Katsina United Aziz Falolo receives the ball, drives in and sets up Moses F. Young, whose darting runs brings him in contact with goalkeeper Siraj Ayelesha to attract the second penalty of the game. Ibe Okoro stepped up to play and after moments of hesitation, he dispatches his kick but Ayelesha reads correctly to parry the ball to safety and deny the hosts a conversion. With just 11 minutes to the end of regulation time, Katsina United's Falolu Aziz picks up the ball and dazzles himself into space to release Moses F. Young, whose eventual cutback hands Chidera Eze the opportunity to tuck in and hand the host a 2-1 result that excited their fans. Eight home wins and two draws dominated statistics in 10 MPFL games on March the 26. Currently in fourth place, the Peace Boys regroup for March the 27 with a home tie against Aqua United of U in Jaws.